How's it going everybody? I know it's been a long time coming for me to make this video for you guys, but I'm going to make it hopefully short and simple and uh, try something new. Uh, hopefully I don't break my phone, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, we have the new Jelly Bean that came out, uh, 4.3 for the Docomo SCO2E, if I'm correct, the Note 2. And uh, what I'm going to do today is make a quick little demo on how to flash it. I know some people have been having problems doing it different ways or not knowing how to do it, but hopefully this video will help you. Anyways, uh, I have my phone and it's uh, fully rooted right now with the uh, previous version. Uh, I think it's 4.1.1 uh, and uh, I've been running it for a while. It's been running smooth, but uh, I've been being brave today and not having nothing to do really. And... Uh, try and push this jelly bean firmware out to you. Uh, right now I am still rooted on the previous version of uh, 411 on a stock firmware and uh, let's get into it and quit bullcrapping. Alright so what you got? You have your phone and uh, I'm gonna put it in download mode. What you do is you of course hold the power, the home button, the power of the home and the volume button down and wait for it to cut off when you see the logo let go press up on the volume toggle on the side and we're going to plug it in make sure you saved all your stuff too this I backed up all my stuff but uh, I'm just going to try to root or try to run the new firmware on it without removing any of my stuff because it takes forever to do it and uh, here we go uh, I'm gonna flash it with the firmware from Sam's firmware here at samsfirmware.com and just sign up it's free just type in uh, you're gonna come to this page uh, let's see let me move this camera up for you there and you're gonna go up to the top where it says firmware click there and you come down here and it says search device and we'll type in SCO2E and this takes very very a very long time to download somewhere like around three hours I'm I'm running a, a fiber optic line in my house and no matter what it's it just takes long from them uh, I do have a mirror up on my Google Drive which I will post it up on the form and in the video description below all right uh you click this one it should be april 4.3 and yada 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 after you download that uh you open up odin you come with odin here you're gonna make sure your phone's showing up where it says com7 auto reboot uh f reset don't touch anything else you don't need to and uh when you click PDA, when you click PDA, a window will open up, which I already have it over here. And I've got my stock firmware slash root, April, which will be this version. After you click PDA, you're going to open it up, and you're going to come up and find the downloaded April firmware version 4.3. And we're going to go, I'm just doing the straight stock, I'm not going to do the root yet. Because uh, I'm kind of curious to see what happens. I think I'm pretty sure the the stock version will erase everything as far as rooting goes. So we're going to click that. Click that. Alright, this is the thing we got. We got phone hooked up. Battery power. At least 50%. I know I'm at like 40 or something like that. And uh, got Odin open. PDA. Find your file. Click it open and start you gonna start sometime today actually there we go and there it goes it's running throwing the boot the recovery it's gonna take off the recovery the the uh, twerp or T win recovery team win and uh, I have no special boot it's just a stock boot so it should replace all all the system files, including the root that was in the previous one. I'm, we'll see what happens. I just don't want to take everything off my phone. But if it comes down to it, 
uh, the best bet to do, the best thing to do is to erase the whole phone, erase everything, and start from scratch. But uh, I'm going to try something new. Cool. I'll get back with you guys. This stuff is going to take a while. It's probably going to take about 12 minutes, 12, 10 minutes. But uh, see you in a few. Let's see. Alright, let's see. What is it doing? Starting apps. Alright, it just got uh, done and it seems like so far so good. What I'm going to do now is uh, put this thing in download mode again. And we're going to plug the USB back in. Press volume up. Our com came up. Let's see. And we're going to go PDA, everything. You can click reset down there on the bottom to clear it all out. I'm going to go PDA. Then I'm going to go to the root system image that was placed on. I don't know what page it was on here. I think it was page 84 on the form. If I'm correct, if not 84, yeah, it was on page 84. So, uh, was this uh, quit 46 or Q Q I yeah Q I T 46 should be uh, post 840. Um, going here, the file you download it from that post, which is the system root image. We're gonna click this, open. It should show up. It's checking the uh, MD5. Make sure it's not corrupt or anything's modified in there that's not supposed to be in there. Come on. Cool. Yeah, it checked it all out. Look good. And now I'm going to start. Things almost done. Let's throw in the cache in. It's resetting right now. See if this hangs or not. Or I got a boot loop or something like that. I'm going to let it sit. I'm not going to try to do a reset. I'll let it sit for a couple minutes and see what happens. Oh, guess not. It's rolling through. Lights coming on. That's a good sign. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright. Man, my icons are everywhere. But uh we'll go through, we'll check out super user. It says uh SU binary needs to be updated. Continue. Um we'll go normal. Okay. And that seems let's see if we could check titanium. Yeah, everything looks straight. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, keep all your stuff and uh, root the phone, as you can see here. Uh, hopefully, uh, I can make more videos, like a lot of uh, framework stuff. Uh, I've been using a lot of the uh, Exposed Framework, which you can do a lot of mods on the phone, from changing icons, everything. Pretty much, you can make your phone pretty close to a custom ROM. I wouldn't say all the way but you can do a lot of stuff to make it unique but uh hope you guys enjoyed this little video and uh happy rooting there